Okay, and we're rolling. When Robin came back into your life last year, eyewitnesses report seeing him electrocute you. But now you seem as inseparable as ever. Yeah, he's my little Rob Rob. He probably electrocutes people to get their attention. Well, with the prospect of becoming Batman, do you not think he's trying to assert himself? You know, Robin could probably answer his own questions. Look, I don't think anyone else can really ever be Batman. He's not an idea just anyone can fit into, like the Phantom. I don't know if you know this, Miss Lane, but, um... You see, my parents were killed in a brutal shooting when I was a child. It was pretty um, incremental in making me who I am today. My parents died in a horrible trapeze accident. Nah, it doesn't count. They need to die in your arms, in an alley. You need to watch the life drain from their eyes. So. Then what have I been training for? I don't know. To be the best little Rob Rob you can be? I mean, I needed years of training to be Batman. You understand, Lois. You probably had Lois training or something. No, no, I did not. Huh. Weird. Can you imagine this little guy in a, in a little Batman hat? <laughs> so cute. Look at that. Put him. Hmm. What? You've just made yourself a very powerful enemy, Batman. A very powerful enemy. Who? You gotta... Rob, you gotta tell me who. Is it the Riddler? Puberty. You're still doing the Christian Bale voice. It's a Batman voice. Hmm. Yeah, but that's a comic book, Linda, not real life. I, I don't even have a cousin. Yeah, you do. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, honey, oh, listen God. to me. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, honey. Oh, 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 oh Jesus, Jesus, we, we slept together. I know. <laughs> We're the only last two survivors of Krypton. <laughs> We made a kid. Be like Kryptonian Adam and Eve. No one is gonna see it like that. Jesus, what if Lois finds out? Can you stop talking about Lois for five seconds? Can you stop being my cousin for five seconds? Or like longer than that, rather? All the time? No, no! Okay! I should get away from Batman. You're still doing the Christian Bale voice? It's a Batman voice. Y yeah, I, I, I just thought you'd be doing the Ben Affleck voice now. What's a Ben Affleck voice? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm Ben Affleck. Uh, I directed Argo. Does Ben Affleck even have a voice? Yeah, yeah, you better run, you rascal. Don't do it again. <sighs> Ma'am. You know, if I were Batman, I wouldn't be letting people get away. <sighs> My son wants to be Batman when he grows up too. Of course he does. <laughs> he dresses a bit like you even now. Yeah, really? Yeah. Does he uh, feel out of suit like I do? <laughs> yeah, with all due respect, lady, I'm the man wonder, so I'm infinitely more qualified to be Batman than your stupid son. Little Rob Rob will show you to your mode of transportation, ma'am. Bless. <laughs> that suit is so adorable. Isn't it just? July 25th, 2014. Over the past six months, my time spent as the Hulk has increased to 65%, and during that time, I believe that he has been taking advantage of various women, Ivy being the latest. You know, for somebody with a glimmer of a functioning brain, she seems to have fallen for a mindless brute. I... <clears throat> then she also claims to have solved my radiation problems. It's unclear why she'd even bother to try, uh, unless she cares about me in some way. <clears throat> I've hit a wall with my equations, and so it is embarrassing that a man of science should be reduced to this. 
Uh, I wasn't doing oh, anything. So, sorry, Venom. Also, just trying to figure out carpooling to the Lois Lane show on Friday because you know parking's pretty tricky in the city. And I figured no, that that's fine. I mean, I was just in the middle of a very important equation, Superman. But as always, your popularity is of great concern to me. <laughs> no, I wasn't inviting you. I just wanted you to tell Hulk and Ivy. Ivy. Yeah, because they're cool. I will come back later then. Hey, Hulk man! Ah, uh, Banner. Hey, um, can you let me know when Hulk's back? Once again, the Hulk is not here, and as always, I'm in the middle of a very complex equation. So Dude, we get it. You do maths. Man, it's a bummer you never get to hang out with Hulk. He's like you, except I don't feel sad when I'm around him. Of course, what a tragedy. If only I could meet him. Well, you know, the Green Lantern's just got back from Byron. He's got some pretty whacked out stuff. Oh, please, Batman. Give me the number of the Green Lantern so that I can take mind-altering substances and meet the Hulk. And then after we've hugged in a drug induced hallucination, perhaps we will go to Burning Man together and make friendship bracelets out of hemp! Cool. Anyway, I'm gonna go before I start to get bummed out. So will Linda be joining us for an interview? What, Linda? Who's Linda? What? No, no, my, 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 my good friend Linda. Girlfriend. Um, when are we going to talk about the uh, Superman v Batman movie? Well, the other day you were quite adamant you're in a relationship. In fact, it was one of the first things you said to me. So. Yeah, no, I meant, I meant I was in a relationship with a friend. Like a friendship. She's a normal Earth-based friendship. Earth-based. Not that I have any non-Earth-based friendships, because everyone on my planet is dead. Why are so, you laughing? I don't know. Well, so it wasn't a sexual relationship? What? <laughs> with, with Kara? Who's Kara? Linda. That's just, that's so inappropriate. Why would having a sexual relationship with Linda be inappropriate? Because it's you, girls. Am I, am I, I'm joking. <laughs> haven't, you, haven't you seen uh, Morats with Kevin Smith when he says that if an Earth woman was ever with Superman, when he climaxed, it'd be like a shotgun blast? You, I, I have no idea why I said that. Superman, are you trying to impress me? That's not impressive, that's horrifying. What would your girlfriend think about you flirting with me? For, first of all, I, I, A, I'm not flirting, and second, um, it wouldn't be an issue because our relationship is entirely platonic. Your relationship with your girlfriend is entirely platonic. She's just a friend. We barely know each other, actually. Just like you barely knew my grandmother, right? Aquaman! Great timing. Would you like to make a statement about the new Batman movie? Superman movie? He's not interested. It'll just take a couple of seconds, so... She's a sellout. It's okay, babe. I got this. I'd prefer to talk about the movie that Mira and I are making. He has no interest in seeing the... New Batman movie, whatever it's called. It's a Superman movie. Don't even watch movies. Well, Hollywood Reporter released a statement today saying that Aquaman has been cast in the new Batman v Superman epic. Uh, Lois, is it? Yeah. Um, look, I don't mean to be rude, but um, <laughs> uh, just the way you phrase that sounded like, uh, like Aquaman's gonna be in the new movie. Yeah, it did sound like that. <laughs> he is gonna be in the new movie. Yeah, yeah. But it's just that the way you said it uh, implied that uh, Aquaman was gonna be, you know, a part of the movie, um, like with Batman. <laughs> that is what I'm saying. Yeah, and, uh, and we, he we hear you. Um, and what you're saying, but what I'm saying is that it sounds like what you're saying is that uh, Aquaman, as in a character based on me, is going to be in the Batman v Superman movie. That's exactly what I'm saying. They've even cast the role. It's Jason Momoa. He played Carl Drogo in Game of Thrones. You're not saying anything, Aquaman. Babe. What are you, what are you doing? Just say, I don't care. It's all just Hollywood crap. You know this. Hank. Hank. Oh. So. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
Superman movie. Oh, you and as well as Wonder Woman, Cyborg and The Flash. Are you for real? Yeah, do you think maybe it's because the franchise is struggling? <laughs> no, what even? I'm just helping everyone out. But it's just so, there's so many of them in there for 90 minutes. But I'm just, I'm just so happy that everyone's getting their big break. But they're just squeezing everyone in, aren't they? That's just so great. <laughs> Superman movie. Uncle Man, can I talk to you in your room? You can talk to each other out here. You're not going to do anything. He's old enough to make his own decisions. Well, keep the door open. You've got X-ray vision. And I don't want to have to use it. <laughs> Sorry for, for being so firm then. I can be pretty intimidating when I fly off the handle like that. Yeah, I can imagine. Why did you tell Lois we're not together anymore? You understand the cousin thing's taboo here, right? I mean, that's why she came here. Her Majesty Lois Lane III just walks on in and claims my man. Lois has been nothing but professional. The entitlement of that woman, I just want to melt her face off. You know, now that I know you can actually do that, that is no longer cute. Do you really think that you'll be happier with her? No one in the universe will get you like I do. No one will understand what it's like to feel like you're living in a world made of cardboard. Constantly terrified of breaking something or someone. I don't know what it feels like to leap through the air and feel that sense of freedom. The kind of freedom no one on this planet could even dream of. We were together for a year and you didn't tell me we were related? It has nothing to do with the lying. It's just Lois. It's only ever been Lois for you. I just don't fit into your fairy tale story anymore. Tell me I'm wrong. It's still massively the cousin thing. Still got it. Yeah, you sure do. And he rolls away and jumps nimbly to his feet. I'm good, Constable Gordon. That's senior, Constable Gordon, to you, boy. Smoke bomb! So I hear uh, Gotham's going pretty well. You must feel pretty good about that. Ha! Oh! oh got me again! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> hey, can I try on your hat just for a little bit? Oh, no, I don't think so. All right, well, hey, easy. Hey, I heard you had a fight with Superman. Bet you wish you had old Gordy Wardy in your corner. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Couple yeah. of smoke bombs, a few traffic cones, won't know what hit him. Yeah. Let me try on your hat. Oh, it's getting pretty late. Just to see if it's it still fits. I don't think you should be out this late anymore, mate. Oh, patronise me. I made you smoke bomb! <laughs> I'm pretty sure holding my dying parents in my arms made me, but, um, <laughs> no, whatever. <laughs> I made you. Gordy. Huh? You're old enough to know now. Know what? You really have no idea, do you? I used to wear a hat very much like yours, yeah? I had to let it go. <laughs> Why would a cop wear a Batman hat before Batman even existed? You think you're the only Batman? Batman is more than one man. He's an ideal. An ideal that has to be reinvented every generation. Letting go of Michael Keaton's Batman was one of the hardest things I've ever done. Look, Gordy, 
Thanks for all your camaraderie over the last, you know, however many years. But no, I gotta bounce there. The hardest part was lying to my son. You should probably talk to him then. I am. How do you mean?